A right-handed operator performing an inferior alveolar block injection on the patient's right side is seated at the 8 o'clock position, with the patient reclined in the dental chair to minimize the possibility of syncope. Our tour begins with the patient's mouth opened widely and the patient's head turned slightly toward the operator. The operator's finger palpates the greatest depth of the coronoid notch and moves the finger laterally to make the tissue taut. The finger is held parallel to the mandibular occlusal plane so that the middle of the finger coincides with the deepest part of the coronoid notch. The operator should visualize the pterygomandibular raphe and the deep tendon of temporalis under the finger as forming a triangular area under the pterygomandibular depression. Positioning the syringe over the premolar teeth on the opposite side and just above the plane of occlusion, the needle is placed at the insertion point within the depression about one-fourth to one-half the distance from the rife to the finger. Okay, Soon, after penetrating the mucosa, we enter the buccinator muscle, just lateral to the actual rafe, which connects the buccinator muscle to the more medial superior pharyngeal constrictor muscle. A few millimeters later, we see the deep tendon of temporalis attaching to the medial aspect of the mandibular ramus. For the remainder of the tour, we'll be traveling close and parallel to the mandibular ramus. The relatively large medial pterygoid muscle will be just medial to the needle. Moving further in, we approach the sphenomandibular ligament, which should be to our right, or medial. We don't want to be lateral to the ligament, which could prevent diffusion of the anesthetic into our target, the inferior alveolar nerve. <laughs> We're just about there. Notice that we are approaching just above the lingual and the inferior alveolar neurovascular bundle can be visualized. After traveling about 20 to 25 millimeters, we finally arrive and make gentle contact with the ramus, ideally just above the mandibular foramen and very close to the inferior alveolar nerve. We'll pull back a millimeter or two, aspirate, and then deliver the anesthetic. Begin the flow of anesthetic at a slow rate so that you have completed delivering the entire cartridge in about one to two minutes. Then carefully withdraw the needle following the same path used for entry.